Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the Pit Stop Podcast, all right? Today is a super exciting day because we have guests. Yes. We have guests with an S as a plural. Not only that, one of them is coming back for the second time and he has decided to wear the exact same t-shirt. He's made, he made a big effort for today's episode, which is yeah. nice. We actually have another guest with us as well. And there's actually a third guest. Yes. There is a special one, a fluffy one. Bit of a quiet one, but also a very welcome guest. Got a guest. lot to say, I think. I think so as well. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt and Tommy. Hello. And Frank. Hello. And Frank. Frank. Sorry, and Frank. Oh. Guys, yes. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> we do love a round of applause. Do you know what, boys? It's so good to see us. It is. It's it great. Is. You know, we've had some lunch. We've we've had a good catch up. I realised I'm wearing the same top as I was six months ago. But <laughs> look, it went well last time. So I thought I'd you know double it up and make it look like we've just filmed it on the same day. <laughs> Imagine and Tommy's it. just materialised that. It's been like yeah, put in post afterwards. No, it's good to see you lads. There's a lot lot to talk about, right? You boys have been on a on an insane journey these last few months, and what you guys are doing now with P1 is unreal. So congratulations mm, on that. Thank you. Yeah, you thank boys you. are smashing yeah. it. I love the, the purple for us as well. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 These guys put the effort in. On brand, yeah. That's mad, actually, because last time you were here, you were on your previous adventure. And now you're here and used to have on a new together adventure. with P1. Yeah. It's weird, yeah. To, weird for him to be in the same room as me, talking. Like, I'm used yeah. to just seeing him in pixel form. Wait, how often do you see each other, then? Oh, hardly at all, because I don't no. want to. <laughs> just, I, just occasionally, just the odd event and stuff. But yeah, we live quite far away from each other. So you're so like a virtual not... relationship. Yeah, 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 exactly. Toxic, but no. It's <laughs> on, on we live about two hours away. So. How about hotel vibes? <laughs> oh, okay. I like it. Hey, can we Frank. Can we see Frank on the camera? Look. Uh, I think we can just He's about so see sloppy. a dog. Just, just yeah. about see a dog. He's rolled over and I'm... Um, yeah. How often do you boys film then? If you don't see each other in person, you do it all online. Yeah. How often do you have to like jump on a, a live thing to film? Depends if it's a race weekend or if it's a non-race weekend. If it's if it's race, we'll probably do like five, either episodes or videos. I mean, our podcast, yeah, is usually five in a row, really. Um, yeah. Because uh, something's happening in the or world of the Formula FAA One. Screw up, and we have to re-record. A different podcast saying that the results change. Oh, what like a like, <laughs> like a podium the, position, yeah, for Alonso instance. Thing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. How did did you guys get that right then? Was your point? No, we so we'd, and we'd done the whole race review saying that he was fourth. Yeah, and then we pretty much just finished. Was about to publish it, and then yeah, it changed again. So. <laughs> Same thing. Has oh, so you had to re-record? No, we actually re-record. No, we just, stuck we just it live took a bonus just... episode out. Just yeah. like, oh, okay. This so we, now we just changed the title of our episode saying this is a load of baloney. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah I thought yeah. it was this, post- podcast, this podcast is useless. useless. Yeah. I was like, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's really clickable, that is. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, well, why don't we go back to, let's, let's, let's start from the grassroots, right? So before we talk about anything to do with P1 or anything like that, why don't we talk about how you boys like first met? We had a brief conversation with you, but it's nice to have both... Yeah, have both yeah. of you here yeah, yeah. Tommy so, side of the yeah, story yeah when did you meet how did it start when did we meet um, well I knew Matt from just being a bit of an idiot in his kitchen and just Fair. yeah oh <laughs> Frank's, oh, oh. Just head. Frank's just head at the oh, table. Frankie. Yeah, we've... Um, oh, he's off. He's off. He's had enough. Hello, he's, Frank. You're going like to come, come, come on his sofa. Frank. Frank wants Frank. to be... Frank, come here. <laughs> come here. Stay here. Um, yeah, so when I was obviously doing uh, WTF1, we got Matt uh, on board as a presenter and uh, yeah we watched this video of him sort of slating that Nico Rosberg had uh, retired and he had you know big energy and it was like yeah this is the person we want for for the YouTube channel so we hadn't met before but I DM'd you you replied within about 0.1 of a second yeah mm-hmm. uh, played it really cool clearly was doing a lot and it takes ages to reply <laughs> yeah oh Shut now he's big shot yeah oh, joke, yeah <laughs> You're pretty responsive. I like it. I am a bit feel, too responsive. I feel really. the love. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then we, yeah, we met up. You did a bit of a kind of pilot episode, got you on board, and then yeah, that that was it. We did didn't do a podcast for a while, did we? It was like a year afterwards. But we did actually do a practice podcast when you just started, and it was terrible because we didn't know each other. We had no chemistry. There was mm. a couple of guys mm. there. On our previous venture that didn't know anything about F1. God, oh, it was bad, wasn't sucked. it? We were just there, just kind of like, so, how's it going? Oh, no. <laughs> I'd, love, I'd love to watch it now. It'd be quite funny to watch it. But I mean, but you, but you say like we discovered Matt. So you, you had already started WTF1 at this point. So how did that come about? Like, that how... was just me at university wanting to post about F1. I did music at uni and it was just... Did you really? Yeah, what, yeah. What kind of, what, just music? Like music tech, so... Um, yeah, it was very much uh, production. 
yeah yeah so i played guitar and i just want didn't know what i wanted to do and i mm. just liked playing guitar and liked music and just thought yeah this will do mm. um but then when i was at uni i kind of still have been obsessed with formula one my whole life and just thought why not let's do something with f1 uh had a bit of a, a blog and just posting memes on facebook and stuff yeah and it kind of grew from there and so, now it's yeah. innocent days man yeah, yeah, yeah. How long ago was that then when you met? How long ago was that? 20... End of 2016, 2016 we, we met. Yeah. So the technically you kind of gave Matt a job. Yeah. And now here we are. Here we all are. These don't years give him later. ammunition. <laughs> don't, don't. He's a co-founder. I'm a co-founder. We're we are on a level play. Yeah. For, this is it. From the minute I saw him, I was like, yeah, you're the founder now. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see in six <laughs> years time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what that message said? Well, the you first ever yeah, message. Still, could you get it, it yeah. up? Yeah, oh, I can yeah. find Could it. you find that first no, really? ever yeah. message of, wow, check that out. That reminds us of last night. And that, oh, there goes my <laughs> there phone. Goes there goes the brand that new reminds me of the pod we went on yesterday. We were doing who's the most famous person in your phone. Oh, yeah. But we better not talk about that on this podcast. I think <laughs> wait for that to come out. I think you're the most famous person in my phone. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Red. You're probably not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not branded. <laughs> I can't wait to see this message. Well, did you have other people at the time? Do you remember watching like multiple creators? Yeah, there was a few different people. <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't the first ever message with, you'd sent me. Oh, was it not? No, because on the 19th of December 2016, I messaged you because I thought, wow, this guy's so cool. He's Tommy from WTF. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'd met you that day because I said, great to meet you guys earlier. Nice to meet people of a similar mindset. Then gave it one of these fist pump emojis. And I was like, oh, you what, the strong cringe. Arm? Yeah, you, 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 you cringe. This is 2016, okay? <laughs> this is a long time ago. And then, and then Tommy goes, "Yeah, thanks for coming in. Was good to meet you. Thumbs up." So that one was I mean, basically a pie, really, wasn't it? Like it was just like a, get out my DMs. <laughs> uh, and then on the fourth of January, 2017, was when Tommy messaged me again. Kino. Kino. Hey, mate, how's it going? I was like, oh my god, he asked me how I am. <laughs> uh, loving the streams you've been doing recently. Hello. Thought it'd be easier to chat here than email. Need Hello. to sort out a few things if possible. No major rush. That was at 14.39. What app is this on? MSN? Twitter. 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 Oh, MSN. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an MSN app on my phone. Um, yeah, so at 14.39 that day, he, he messaged me that. I replied at 14.40. Cool. Really Hello, mate. Quick. Fire away. I'm all good, thanks. Power yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and then it went uh, from there. Cool. Yeah, and then he said, good stuff. Then they said about moving offices. Fri uh, next Friday is the Autosport International show and we were thinking about doing a pilot episode there would you be free that day to oh, go oh that pilot episode and I was like yeah I'm free that day to go any more details and yeah and, and then that next Friday we went to um, Autosport International which is the Birmingham NEC and um, that was the time where I had to learn where to put my hands when presenting ah uh, no no idea. Oh, yeah. no, no idea. It is something you have to learn, though. Yeah. Because I, I watch back some videos of me when I used to do stuff when I was really young, and I, you don't know, really, until you've done it for yeah. ages. Because usually, if you, especially if you sit in front of a, a computer like I had and whatever, done silly YouTube videos, you don't have to be using your hands, necessarily. Mm. It might be a voiceover or whatever, mm. but then as soon as you're in front of a, a full camera, you can see your whole body, you're then going, where do I... What do I do? How do I make this natural? It's a marvellous body as well. And then you start, shut up. It and is then you start, You've been, and then you start, you, you've been yeah, pumping some iron. You been you've been come strengthening on. the not, pythons. Not in 2017 <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> so it was, it was a struggle, but we got there in the end. Yeah, it was a weird... To be, fair, to be fair to you, we had no idea what we wanted to do with the YouTube channel. It was very much like, we'll go to this autosport show, see what we can film. And then we just said, go speak to that guy. And... I mean, I didn't have a clue, and I'm the one that knows about F1 history. Yeah, it was about like Lotus so. 49, mm. and I had no idea until that day anything about the history of Lotus 49. I had to go and, we had to go and speak to, was Colin, it Clive or Colin? Because one Colin, of them... No. Clive Chapman, the son of Colin Chapman, yeah. who is like a so legendary Clive and Colin. Engineer, Colin yeah. Chapman is his dad they that died. Rich. but like it's Clive like, is a rich man's name. Yeah, and you know they're involved in the whole Lotus 49 history and whatever. But then in my head, I'm like, don't call him Colin because that's his dead dad. Call him Clive. <laughs> you know, and, and I, you know, oh. But in your head, you're then going, but they've both got C's. How do I... And then I just kept thinking, which one was the name? Uh, okay, don't call him his name. And then you, know, and then you just start overthinking it. And then... I... Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> can't fucking make the podcast. Why we you... might have to bleep that one. <laughs> That's fine, we'll bleep it. We'll bleep why it, right? You... Why would you, we'll to anyone it. outside okay. this podcast, why right. would they have a No clue? one else is here, right? We're going to bleep it. <laughs> it's gone rogue already. Frank's just oh. roaming yeah, your Frank's, whole flat. What's in Frank's your red ball? About. Any more beers around? Like, let's just get on the sesh. <laughs> I, Frank, just... come here, because you're going to be pitter-pattering. Tippity tappity. I do love come having a dog in the flat. Come on, Frank. Hello, Frank wanna join don't, yeah. don't make those soppy sofa. eyes. Get on the sofa. Hello, Frank. I love the way he's obsessed with sofas normally and just wants to like be on the sofa at home. And then now the one time he's got a sofa that he can sit on. He he's he's just milling about, isn't he? He's in a new place, new location. He knows it's the pit stop I'm wondering HQ. where his mind there is. There he is. Sit down. Big fan. He wants to explore the whole setup. So there. when you did that and you started making YouTube videos for WTF1 back then? Yeah. You hadn't really done any videos in person, like going out and doing them kind of videos before. We'd not done any videos. We didn't have a YouTube channel before yeah, that the channel, yeah. the channel started when I joined. Um, okay. So we started yeah. from zero and had to shape what we wanted it to look like. So, so what were you filming before on your, pro on your personal channel? Oh, just gameplay stuff, like playing the F1 game and shouting and swearing at me being terrible at the game. Like That was all it so ever exactly was. exactly what we're and doing was, now. Yeah. 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 This, is, this so is a big thing. This, 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 <laughs> this is a big thing, right, yeah. that we've had. Is that, I mean, you boys, it's hard for us to, because mm. you, you guys have done it for a long time, but we've met you guys pretty much straight away coming into it, and you, you were very friendly and, and like welcomed us with open arms, which is, which is lovely. But like we, we sometimes forget that you boys have grafted and done kind of what me and Jake have done already. So we'll be sat here like, you know, telling you boys, we're going to do this, this and that. And you're like, yeah, I remember those days. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I did that six years it. ago. And we're like, oh, fuck, we thought we'd just come up with this genius idea. And it's like, Matt's already done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it, there, we've done a lot of content, some good, some bad. And you just learn what works and you'll learn what works for you guys and you know, what people want to listen to or watch on your mm. YouTube channel and you just figure it out because you just have to pave your own way, figure out what your brand's actually going to look like and what people are going to expect from it. Uh, and then when you get a few hits, you go, oh, people like that. Mm. And then sometimes if you get flops, you go, well, never again. That was a waste of time. So, mm. yeah. Speaking of hits, you boys have done some really impressive numbers. Hello, Segway. Oh, yeah. Love that. <laughs> since start, <laughs> since starting the post. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just paid for lunch. I got I, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Your <laughs> we paid for that. The amount of Twitch subs we've given them. <laughs> yeah. I kept telling you, Jake, stop sending Twitch subs. It's very cheap promo to come into your <laughs> live stream when 5,000 people are watching. I'd have shouted you out for a Jake WhatsApp. from stop. <laughs> no, it's, great. it's great. But no, yeah, here we are. And you've, over the last couple of months, made the big decision. You both left of WTF1. And now mm -hmm. you're here, launch your own thing as P1. That must have been a massive decision for you. Like, the conversations between you. Obviously, you've got a child at home. Yeah. Not just You've got a went. child and a dog and you, Matt. But yeah, you've got expenses, <laughs> right? You've got, you got serious things to think about in your life. Yeah, and you yeah. go and leave a job, which is, you're, you're getting paid, both getting paid very well there. You're doing getting great. Getting paid there. a salary. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. getting paid a salary. That's yeah. what I mean. I've and it was, also, that. it was, you know, it was my baby, I guess, as well, because I'd started it. So, you know, it was something I started from the very start. So it was difficult to let go and even you know you know we're bantering that we're we're co-founders but matt is essentially was the founder of the youtube channel because it didn't Ooh. exist did it yeah. so. is that the first time that's, that's the first time he's ever said that so so realistically you were yeah you started the youtube channel so it was kind of your baby to a point as well yeah. really so um yeah it was a big a big old decision to basically kind of pack it in and do something new and take that jump and take a bit of a risk. Some people, it's easy, it's, a lot of people said it wasn't a risk because they're like, oh, you'll be fine. But it's still... You just don't know. You just, yeah, it's easy for people to say that when it's not your life yeah, and you've yeah. got a kid and mm. you've got <laughs> whatever. So mm. yeah, yeah, from the outside looking in, it was very, yeah, everyone, oh, you should do it. Yeah, it makes it yeah. not a... Not one bit of hesitation in my mind. You should go do it. You do it, do it. And you're like, okay, cool. Mm. But then when you actually look at it on the face of it, you go, okay, so I'm going to sack my job on, uh, off. I've got to pay rent. I've got to pay this. got to pay that. And you don't know. You don't know whether people are going to come along. You don't know if people are actually just in love with letters on a logo. Or yeah. you have all these doubts in your mind. You might not even be able to find us because we we leave and people don't know yeah. where we are or whatever. Or like, where, yeah. yeah, where do we post stuff? Uh, will people ever find us, as Tommy says? Or Frank, don't make the jump. 
<laughs> well, he's going to make a <laughs> big okay. leap over here. You don't here, want to hear pitter patter, okay? Um, but yeah, you, you, you never know, and that's the thing: is it is scary, no matter how much you might think, oh, well, you've got this many followers on whatever. It still is massively scary because at the end of the day, you have to run your own business, which is what we're doing now, yeah. and we don't have a clue what we're doing most of the time. Do you but, know what's really nice though? Yes, the fact that you boys do it together. Yeah, I, I think I, for for both of you to have each other, I couldn't sit here and do this on my own. Yeah, it's quite cute, isn't it? I mean, you two each other. I mean, well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> no, maybe yeah. I could. Announcement. He's I'm my safety leaving. net. Imagine. He's my safety net. If I don't know what to say next, then he's usually got something to say. Oh. Yeah. So it's quite... Uh, and not, it's it's a big, let's just all have a big cuddle. This is a really wholesome... Should we just get <laughs> fucking naked? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like the photo that I put on my story. <laughs> But it, is, yeah. it, must be, it must be nice to, to feel like there's two of you weathering the storm. A hundred percent. Yeah, great. and we balance each other out and we've both got, because we've worked together for so long, we know what skills we have. It's quite funny because we, when we started, we didn't really plan, you do this, you do that. We just kind of did it. And then I'm pretty sure after a couple of weeks, you said, oh, by the way, just want to check that you're all right with you doing this bit, me doing this bit. And I was just like, yeah, didn't even think twice about it. Yeah. Yeah, you're both very in sync. Yeah. Which which really helps. You fall into your categories a little bit. Yeah, I mean, Tommy's great at social and he's great at, you know, get that creative side of just staying on top of it and Mm. growing growing a social platform, no matter who you are, is a difficult thing to do. Um, so Tommy, you know, of course, has the track record uh, of, of WTF1 and and now, you know, I fully trust him to do to do that side of things. But also it's having, because I, I thought previously, oh, I could go and do this on my own and I had thought about doing it on my own and I, I may have been able to do it, but I don't think it would have been anywhere near as good because the main thing that makes P1 at least as successful as it is right now is because it's both of us. I am better when he's around mm-hmm. and he's better when I'm around because we can chat to each other. We, mm. we have these discussions. Yeah. We have the podcast. I can't go do a podcast on my own. Well, no, that's I'm the going thing. to talk to yeah. myself. Well, I could, but there's no discussion factor. Having there's two no... people opens up so many doors for content, right? Exactly. That's why I respect someone like Lissy. She goes out and does a pod on her own. And you had to do it once when oh, I yeah, was away. Oh, yeah, it's hard to do a pod on your own. Yeah, because yeah. like, really like, hard. You're like, wow, I've run out of things to say and it's 10 minutes in. I don't have <laughs> Fab to say, let's get naked <laughs> yeah. or whatever. You know? Whenever we get really quiet, just say something ruthless. I'd have to just do two different voices. <laughs> what do you think of the race? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I'll be able to get through it. <laughs> That's officially gone mental. That's what the kind of comments will be. A while ago. Yeah. A while ago. <laughs> but you boys must feel, do you feel like relief after launch? Like how do you feel yeah. since launching? Um, absolutely like unbelievable. So what has been five, is it five weeks? Five, six weeks? Yeah. Like has it only been that? Since we launched, yeah. yeah. Since we actually massive. started. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but, <laughs> but you are the yeah. Not fat. The number, yeah. like, <laughs> you're both looking very true. <laughs> <trim. laughs> <laughs> <trim. laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was a big lunch we Some had. Some athletic greens over there. <laughs> yeah, it was a big lunch. Um, but no, I, genuinely, you know, with, with the whole not knowing if it will work, how long will it be till it works? Tommy's got a mortgage to pay. He's already, you know, he'd already highlighted that before we even left. Like, I've got, I've got to pay some bills, you know? Yeah. And so do I. And, and then you go, well, okay, if it doesn't kick off for three, six months, how are we going to survive? Um, so the the support that we received yeah, was massive. second to none. Like, it, it exceeded any of our wildest dreams, really, because, you know, we do our podcasts, we do our Twitch streams, we do our YouTube channel. And we thought, okay, one of them might go well. Maybe we'll get a thousand subs on Twitch and, you know, we'll we'll think, okay, there's something to build on here. But every part has just gone so much better than we ever could have expected. I think one of the reasons is obviously we're going out and doing this on our own. So people genuinely feel that, you know, they empathize with us that we are just two people with washed Formula One opinions that, that, (laughs) you know, would like to share our love for the sport with everyone. And and thankfully they've come come along. Um, But yeah, like Twitch, you know, the... I think we hit 14,000 subscribers on Twitch, which is like outrageous. <laughs> the nuts. amount of generosity people showed. I was just... That uh, first I, stream we, we, was just crazy. How, what yeah, was it like before that first stream? But when you were about to go on it, were you like texting or on the phone? I was shitting it myself. Yeah. Uh, because, and, and I never get nervous for streams, but I was like, this is something that we've now both dreamed of, is starting our own thing, yeah, yeah, going yeah. alone and, and, and making something happen. And I was like, oh my God, what if what if people tune in and... They actually don't like it. Yeah. We had that because we had the initial, we left. We didn't start for a month. So, and the reaction was crazy online. The amount of people that were kind of like, oh, I miss you guys. What are you, you know? So 
that was the first bit of kind of vindication that we'd done the right thing because we kind of thought, okay, we've created a storm here and people are interested and want, want to know what we're doing next. But then, yeah, before that, we had to be like, right, now we need to deliver. And this first kind of, the first video, the first stream, everything was first podcast. It was also important to make sure it was straight away the kind of quality and, and as good as we wanted mm. because... And we never expected, like Twitch, for example, to go as well as yeah, it did because Twitch we'd set well. a milestone. We're like, okay, every thousand uh, subs. So for those that don't <laughs> listen or watch Twitch, you know, you, you can subscribe and you pay. Maybe it's a fiver over here or it might be a bit cheaper if you're in another country um, and you can show your support. So then I was like, okay, every time we get a thousand subs, we'll do a shoey. You know, 14 shoeys later, Ugh. I am so unwell. I cannot tell you. How have you, you not got like oh, meningitis or Mercer? I, or I think I was close. You found because, mold on your shoe. Yeah, well, well yeah, I, I saw the shoey off. <laughs> mold on your tongue? I did the shoey. No, my tongue, no, on my shoe. Um, <laughs> so we'd, obviously we're doing shoeys every time. And I'm like, I'll put it, I'll wash it out with some water. All right, go again. And then, yeah, by the 14th one, I saw it off and then looked down at my shoe and I was like, wait, what's that on the toe? I was like, Oh my god, that's actual mold. Uh, and, oh, I was you go so home unwell. and you kiss your girlfriend that, was that mouth. So unwell. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, my office is in the house, so it wasn't far to go and potentially infect. So <laughs> disgusting, but, man. But no, I was, I was, yeah, so unwell. Um, but that's the thing. You just didn't. We never planned any of it, yeah. and people enjoy seeing my emotional and physical pain. So they got yeah. their money's worth, basically. That's the thing about live. I guess you can't fully control what's what's going to happen. Which is quite exciting. That's why we can't we can't, we go, can't live. go live. Like, it would no, be, I, you no, know I, what I mean like, we are <laughs> we are here with you live now. And my God, don't, yeah. don't, we're already do not there. do it. There's already been yeah. a few cuts, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a few bleeps. Yeah, I, I do want to ask before we before we dive into like the, everything else. Um, we used to watch a bit of WTF when we first started. Yeah, I think did. it made sense for us to just figure out what else is going on and to, and purely to yeah. learn. And it was always Matt that we saw. Were you ever like on screen much for WTF one, or were you more behind the scenes? I didn't let him. No. Well, <laughs> well, I remember we met you at Goodwood. Yes. And I yeah, remember yeah. you were doing a talk, or you were doing something. Yeah. And I remember yeah. someone saying to me that that was a massive thing for you. Yeah. And, like it was. you were like yeah, yeah. you were nervous for that, and now here we are. It's been a big step for you into this world. Going yeah, face. true. I mean, I never would have imagined that I'd be doing this now. I mean, when we started WTF one. Part of the reason we didn't have a YouTube channel, part of the reason that, um, yeah, it was it was just me as just like an alias of just mm. Tommy, like not my full name or anything, was just because I didn't want to be on camera, didn't was was very nervous and scared yeah. to be on camera and do that kind of thing. He was Batman, basically. Like, away, no one knew yeah, what yeah. happened. Yeah. So I, I was just like anonymous, and then we started the podcast and even then i was kind of like okay i'll go on it but i'm a bit nervous about it and it took a while to get used to it and then yeah the only things that i was on was a podcast and uh, yeah like the podcast that we do on youtube and then maybe the odd video just like occasionally a one or yeah something. yeah like every now and then um but not a lot so it is very strange like i never would have expected that we'd be doing pretty much every video together but it just it's just worked really well so so this has been like an even bigger leap of faith for you than than ever you know not only is it the financial side of things you're not you, you know you're taking a risk that way but you're actually going out on camera properly like, for the first time all the time doing yeah, the one true. thing you didn't want to do before yeah so you really yeah are yeah it. yeah it's definitely well done, yeah it's amazing you. thank you mm. but yeah it is it is crazy to think i'd never would have expected to be in this position and at the end of the day i am just a massive Formula One nerd and was since a kid. And it still blows my mind that people want to listen to me just talk about F1 because that to me is just so bizarre because it's what I've done ever since a kid, even though I didn't have any friends that liked Formula One, but now mm. it's really popular, so it's it's great. But um, yeah, it's just crazy to think that people enjoy just yeah. listening to us chat about Formula One, which is what I've done since I was a kid anyway. So. Mm. Yeah, it's cool. I feel like now is the perfect time for you boys to be doing what you are doing because you've you've built that friendship now. And that's yeah, kind yeah. of what me and Jake have is we have the friendship. So, you know, we're not just two hosts put together who don't know each other. We can have banter. I can tell mm. him to take his clothes off. I can lick his face right now if I wanted to. <laughs> Please. People might want to see it. I don't want to do it. No. But Frank like, will lick your face. Yeah. Yeah. 
Frank, I would love it. <laughs> Beautiful doggo. But no, it's nice that you've, yeah. It's nice that you guys have each other. We do. It's yeah. cute. Oh my God, look at this whole thing. What was the reaction it's like nice. after that first Twitch stream? So obviously you were pissed. Um, no, but... I wasn't pissed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was like, we didn't do 14 shoeies in one oh, night. I thought you did 14 like, this was, No, no, no. This was over go. a period of time. Oh, you only like, got a couple of thousand subs in your first stream? Yeah. No, oh, that's dog shit. Sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm <dog> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, over the course of a four-week period, it was like another shoe, another shoe, another shoe, another shoe. How many people were watching Frank. that first stream? In the, what was um, the like highest number of? Hello, Frank, beautiful Frank, dog. Frank, come on again. Look at how much like he's molting. This is what I'm like. I'm so bad about it. Look at Frank this. is molting all oh, over. Oh wow! Me. You can make a coat out of Frank. that. Frank. Frank. Frank is a come beautiful here. dog. Come here, mate. He's got wide stance, isn't he, for a short dog? He's got yeah. What what breed is Frank? He's a Dachshund. He looks, low, he looks low really long. Ground clearance, yeah. Oh, he's such that's a wet really wipe, isn't he? Looks really long. Yeah. Look at him. Lovely, it. lovely coat, though. Yeah, he's sweet. Yeah, he's lovely. <laughs> yeah, well, how many people were watching that first stream? Do you remember uh, the numbers? Maybe like eight or 9,000 or something. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Um, that's ama amazing for live, though. Do you boys not feel mad pressure when you're live? Like, No, I, 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 apart from that first stream where I was like, oh my God, is this going to work? Are people going to like us? You know, what are they going to expect from us to have to go and do a handstand? Like, I, I didn't know what people <laughs> actually wanted from this new sort of P1 venture. Um, but everyone was so unbelievably like warm and kind and just sharing the love in the chat. And you know, if I wasn't so full of adrenaline during that stream, I probably would have just broken down and cried because mm. it was just like one of those moments where we had the affirmation that, what we've done is actually the right thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was it was overwhelming, and you know, a few times when I came, <laughs> like, that I guess that first week or two when I came off stream and just had a moment to just reflect was when you know the tears start to flow and you're like, okay, wow, we're actually on to something here. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, it was mad like that. The those first live streams, and I think we, yeah, it does just come natural to us now, and I think we've been a little more people have noticed that we've been a bit more chill and i think that has just become just from being happier and enjoying it more so uh, from much WHF more one it's so much more dropping f-bombs left right and center on twitch yeah well i remember when leclerc broke down in bahrain and you were like i can't believe that i would have never said on wtf1 and told whole of chat to fuck off <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you so, can now but you can now yeah. and you own, somehow they still say because so. now you own the whole ip i'm guessing so you, yeah, like, you guys yeah, are in yeah. complete creative control of everything you want to do and would you say that is like the main reason you wanted to leave like it was just we want to be in complete control of what we're putting out there's a few reasons, um, some of which we'll go into and some of which we won't. Um, <laughs> we'll go into it right now. <laughs> the ones we can't. But, but I think, yeah, we, we, wanted, we wanted to build something at the end of the day. Like Tom, Tommy obviously created WTF1 from scratch, sold it back in 2016. Frank's doing a little bit. By the way, anyone can hear the love of tap dance. Frank is going on a mate. tour around Frank, the flat. Stop. Come on. It's Get on the so rug. cool to have a dog in the flat. <laughs> Frank, this is the important part of the convo now. Yeah, Frank, we just need you to sit still for one second whilst Matt <laughs> tells a really good story that we can clip. Yeah, yeah. Make a clip out of. <laughs> Get a couple hundred thousand views. <laughs> <laughs> go away. <laughs> Do you want to go from the top again so it's a clean clip? <laughs> That's all right, I can edit. Um, <laughs> we're going to change the whatever you say anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have hate it all. Um... So the reasons why we left WTF1, here we go. Yeah, that was that. great. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that's going to be really good for TikTok. <laughs> that's oh, a, that's a TikTok really? yeah. Oh, wait, let me just say, let me just say something. Close. I need to get a really like... Yeah. So why did you really leave WTF1? Perfect. The reason, I can take that, that put it lovely. with your yeah. and then that was some sad music. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the reasons we left WTF1, uh, yeah, a lot of it we we kind of mentioned um, in our in our first video, but... We wanted to build something that, because we knew how much input and how much we brought to the previous venture, that we wanted to build it for ourselves, and mm. that because we didn't really see where we needed help, we could do everything ourselves. Yeah. Um, so you know, we we were able to create P one and do it, and it gives us now a sort of because I didn't really know where I wanted to go at the end of WTF one, and you know what career do I want to go into that sort of stuff whereas this we've created our own opportunity where we still get to do what we love but on our own terms we make what the hell we want we sign with whoever we want and we get to make those decisions which is such an exciting thing uh, for us yeah, yeah. 
because no one else tells us what to do. Yeah. We don't have to go and ask, oh, can I go on holiday uh, for three days next week? I, I tell Tommy and Tommy tells me, you know, and, and that's, that's, that's the way, that's the way we yeah, do it. Yeah. And, and it's so exciting because it's given us a, f- a fresh lease of life. Like mm. with our content, people see it, whether it's in the YouTube or the podcast or the Twitch, we're just buzzing. We're yeah. just, we're just there. No, yeah, like, this is, this, and, and people have felt it. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah 100%. When you actually look at the stats, you know, peak WTF one, when we're doing Twitch, we might've got six, 7,000 people watching our race watch alongs. And we go, that's a decent stream. We've done two on P1 and we've had 15,000 as the maximum wow. concurrent. And I'm yeah. like, why? Are you, where strange. have all these people come from? That's strange. Uh, but it's because we are so much, we are so much more, I guess, relaxed and hopefully relatable because we are just being ourselves. There's no, en- there's nothing in the back of our mind going, should we say that? Because WTF one's kind of like media. I was going to say, could you not swear for WTF? No, but I just made that decision yeah. because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you never knew. But then it's always that, okay, how would they feel about if I told chat to f off and then they're mm. speaking to a sponsor that might actually not like that there's always these these sort of trails of thought that go ahead whereas this i'm like well i'll just have, fuck to, it. I'll have to answer to myself exactly yeah, and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell chat to fuck off <laughs> uh, you know because th- th- for context for that this is when leclerc dnf'd in bahrain and we saw this massive spike of viewers and i saw that everyone was like oh my god it's got this many thousand i was like oh fuck off twitch chat <laughs> and, and and they and they enjoyed that so and i meant it as well <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. it. How, how long had this been on your minds for so we met with you at the end of last year you came well it's when we did the pod right Yes. Soph was here, went for some dinner downstairs. It was lovely. And that was the first time, I think, that you had mentioned to me and Jake, maybe that you were thinking of making a change. Mm. We didn't really know too much information. No, I mean, in terms of P1, it was pretty much as we sort of decided to leave. Um, Whereas me actually wanting to go was a lot longer in the process. I was always thinking, you can't be part of this forever. It's, it's not viable. You can't be laughing at memes when you're 40 years old. Like, there has to be a progression here. Mm. So there was all, it was, it was, I don't think, I, I think I'd still be there right now if it wasn't for this man saying I want to go. <laughs> Genuinely, because. Yeah. So it was a flip, it was the opposite, was it? I mean, yeah. I, I figured it would probably be you pushing it and maybe Tommy was like, I'm, I'm cool, I'm sound. No, and I do respect you for that, that you didn't basically just keep trying to, well, you didn't at all. You didn't constantly go, I want to leave. Tommy, you should come with me. It was, you know, I came to that decision myself um, after chatting to a few different people. Um, yeah, I, it, it's, it's a weird one because I was quite settled at WTF1, but I'd got to the point where, and some may say this is quite a good thing, but I, I kind of was on autopilot. And sometimes that good because you kind of don't think about what you're doing and it comes natural but mm-hmm. I've I was on autopilot in the bad sense of I wasn't really pushing myself it was just kind of oh I know what to do here throw out some graphics on Instagram do our podcast um and not really change much just falling into a routine falling into a routine many, many and then there's do. the incentive as well of just knowing that I'm salaried and yeah nothing's going to change so it kind of didn't make me hugely motivated and then it got to the point where by maybe halfway through the season yeah the thought of going into another formula one season doing exactly the same thing was not really very appealing Mm. to me and then yeah i spoke to matt and was kind of like so yeah i think i want to leave maybe (laughs) how was that conversation like how how did you feel i remember i remember whatsapping you saying are you free for a chat and you said about what? And I said leaving. And then I think you said you, were, oh, no, fuck you said me like or leave, <laughs> Yeah, you said leaving. <laughs> just kidding, but kind of not. And I was like, excuse me. So then we went on the you know, on the phone almost immediately because when I kid you not, I thought this man was going to die at that company. I thought he would mm. literally be lowered into his grave flipping coffin with a you know a WTF one merchandise. <laughs> with Matt on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And here he goes down yeah. to the coffin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be his version of hell, probably. So, <laughs> but I always, because I, I thought, as Tommy said there, he's just in the rhythm. He's got a kid, he's got a family, mm, he's yeah, got a yeah. house, he's got a mortgage. I just thought, look, I'm never going to pressure him to do something he doesn't want to do. It was always a dream of mine. Like, oh, it'd be amazing if Tommy wanted to go. Mm. But I never thought it would ever come true. And then he just pops out of nowhere. And I'm like, 
give me some foreplay first. You can't just say you want to leave. <laughs> like, what's going give on? Give us a tickle. Give us yeah. a little, little kissy. <laughs> I, I definitely get it from your point of view, though, because like at the end of the day, you built WTF1 from the beginning. Like, you built that at the start. Yeah. So you must yeah. have like a big business sense in you, and like you like building stuff. And kind of, but then every person I spoke to about WTF1, because I've done a few things, where you know, I've been on podcasts going, "Oh, how did you build WTF1?" and I'm not, it wasn't an accident. I obviously knew what I was doing and I was fortunate that I kind of had the idea to do a kind of more fun F1 media mm -hmm. brand before anyone was doing it. Now there's thousands of meme, meme pages and things about Formula One and it's a huge sport that's growing massively. Back in 2010, there was no one and that's part of the reason I set it up because I was, I as an F1 fan wanted to read and consume content that was more enjoyable from a fan perspective rather than a journal telling you yeah, this this and sure. this mm -hmm. um so from that side yeah i knew what i was doing learned a lot on the way but then genuinely it wasn't till we left and started doing it even though i knew it was the right choice to leave but it's just exciting again to have that kind of oh what should we do this should we do that um i've got that new motivation matt's got the motivation yeah. i mean you never would voice note me at, at WTF1 going, what do you think to doing this? Let's do this. And it's like completely different experience. But then you're super motivated. I'm super motivated. And that just helps with what we do and make it amazing. So it's been wow. really, really fun. I mean, you boys, have, you've, you've, done, you've done it now. You've, you've, you've conquered what you wanted to do was leave. And you're both in amazing spirits. You're both happy fellas. But we, we know it wasn't particularly the easiest thing in the world to do to do that kind of what what was it like leaving was it i know it wasn't easy i know it was hard and i know there's a lot of stuff we can't talk about but can you share any information on just like how how that experience was um i mean we gave a huge amount of notice uh, before we left um it was pretty plain sailing uh, those those three months i felt like a weight was off my sh I, I think i knew it was a good decision as well when I, when I went in to hand in my notice, it felt like a way off. Yeah. Like straight away. I was like. We handed in our this, notice together yeah. as well. Did you walk in together yeah. holding hands? Holding hands, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and then went skipping off into the distance. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing fucking daisies out of the whip <laughs> basket. Yeah. No, it was, yeah, it was a process that, you know, it, it wasn't, there wasn't any like chairs being flipped over or anything like that. No. It was. It was just a case of we'd made the decision. They could see it in our eyes as well that we'd made the decision. There wasn't a huge amount of trying to keep us. Um, maybe a little bit more on your side, Tommy. But um, yeah. but it, it's they just... Didn't, they didn't really fight to, to keep you on. Not really, because I think at the end of the day, they knew that what we would want is not what they could offer. Uh, Which I think is so weird because, again, this is no, this is no disrespect to you, but from watching the videos, you, you're like the face of it. You've been in every single video mm. for six years or something like so yeah from, like, from my point of yeah. view i genuinely as when I, we were watching it like fab said i wouldn't have known her in that channel i actually thought it was your channel i think most people on the internet Every, yeah, did. everyone yeah. Do, when yeah. you said we left they were like what, wait what do you, you mean but yeah. you own it Tommy's how the, can you Tommy's leave the your founder own company and but then like, did they what, yeah did they not see the the value in that like surely yeah. if, they, if they were going to try and fight for anyone it would be you. as soon as i saw that i was like well, this is the right decision it's, it's time to go they don't value me uh, and i can go and do it just as well if not better and mm. i feel like the first five six weeks has, has shown that um yeah it, it's as simple as that really mm. and there's no trouble now you boys are doing your thing there's nothing nothing bad going on behind the scenes really no we're just <clears throat> enjoying what we're we're doing and that whole past venture is behind us and we're just enjoying what we're we're doing and just focusing on p1 which mm. is great P1, P1 is going to have live shows. Let's talk about yeah, that. These crazy. two are taking on, where is it? Leicester Square? Leicester Square Theatre. Leicester yeah. Square, Square is, London. Is ballsy, boys. That's, That's ballsy mad. to go yeah. out. So, what's going to happen? Now, imagine me and Fab are your audience now. We, we're at your live show. What's going to happen? To be honest, if you did that, I'd feel less nervous. Because, yeah. I'd just laugh rather than probably wet myself when I walk out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, to be fair, an, an audience of people live, that will be di very different to Twitch, right? Because even though oh, they're there on yeah. Twitch, you, they're yeah. not staring at you. And... and It's a weird, when you actually look at it on paper, you go, oh, wow, you're going to be really nervous. So Leicester Square Theatre, I think, has a capacity of 380 people. 
hopefully we'll sell. I, I think we've sold about 240 at the moment. So it's, it's selling well, if you want to come, 6th of April. Um, 6th of April, for those of you listening. Uh, of April. Yeah, is that a you, Friday or a Saturday? Me and Fab may go on the stage today. It's a Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's Thursday is London night out. It, you know it. I don't know well, what we'll you just said. That you would just love it. I missed that. What did you <laughs> I say? I just said me and you will go on the stage naked. We got sent out. You I don't remember seeing that. support act. Did you see that in the running order? Can we please, can Fab's band play? What, during our show? We could be support before. <laughs> and you then can I'll just come do out with a violin. <laughs> That's it. I'll do that. Yeah, perfect. All right, we'll get a trunk need, kit in. Anything you need. Well, electric travel. triangle, anything you want. Fucking flute, lyre, yeah. anything. Nice. Okay, wow. Well, we'll think about the backing track. Um, that was the curveball. I know, the whole, uh, the whole so RuneScape melody as well. So. That can work. Yeah. Uh, anything with RuneScape in, <laughs> I am all aboard. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, anyway, yeah. So the show, it's going to be probably about an hour and a half. Uh, it's our first ever live show, um, which is insane. Like, I'm a massive musical theatre fan and the fact that we are going to have a show in a theatre is the most insane thing congrats boys to think yeah, at, like that's just Amazing. ridiculous I'm like why would yeah. anyone pay money to come see us two plebs but people have and it's it's unbelievable and, and what we're going to do with the show is we're going to do like a meet and greet and we're going to be able to chat to people because that's one of the things I, I love the most is just being able to talk to the people that actually watch our content and go oh I love this or god your opinion's terrible than this and I'm like alright cool uh, but no it's, it's great to have that interaction because you don't have that Mm. on a day to day because all we're doing is in front of in front of a computer screen and we're making content and as much as you see the numbers I, I like to see the emotion behind it um, so we're doing meet and greet we're going to have a lot of interaction a big, that's a big thing actually like you see, you see the numbers I just picked up on that because that's how I feel as well you yeah. see the numbers it doesn't translate it doesn't sometimes. translate no, you think, no. who are we talking apparently there's like you know a hundred thousand people that watched our interview and it's yeah. like what does that even mean? But if I had 100,000 people stood in front of me, I'd... That's, that's more than yeah. yeah. I remember my telling uh, at the same time. when... I probably shouldn't have because it made her nervous, but when Katie uh, was doing the WTF1 podcast, and I remember t telling her, and we, we were having this conversation about like, oh, it's weird, isn't it? Because you see these numbers and it's just numbers on a screen. You don't actually think they're real people, mm. but then you like visualize it. And I was like, so yeah, like if you think of the people that just watched our podcast, that's like Wembley. Yeah. Right? And then you envision... A full Wembley. And and just that just to clarify people. for these two and anyone else that gets confused, this is Katie oh, yeah, Fairman, you, you who is not Katie your wife. wife. That was your yeah. wife. We Katie thought you were with Katie for, for a good six <laughs> months. For a long time, I thought that. <laughs> to be fair, there was a, like we, we were a small company at WTF1, and it got very confusing because there was there was a Katie there and a Sophie there, and your partner's Sophie and my partner's Katie. <laughs> so we're always like, Katie... Wait, which Katie are you talking about? Or oh, Sophie, which Sophie are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? And it's like, of all the names, what? Like, oh, no, <laughs> two crazy. names. But yeah, it was um, the numbers thing's weird because yeah, you get so used to just looking at a screen and going, oh cool, we hit hundred k subs or blah blah blah. But and until which you, you did go in to one day? silver, yeah, yeah, we did in one day. A hundred k yeah, subs mad. in a day. <laughs> yeah, that first is, day that was that, that was outrageous. like, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we've <laughs> made the right <laughs> choice here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that where's was... the plaque? Have you got the plaque? Yes, yeah, it's got at the home. plaque already. Yeah. Yeah. Did it come through quite quick? Did it? Uh, it took a few weeks. But it's you applied for it pretty much the yeah, day. It's like, not letting me apply it for it. Let me do it now. If we get a pizza one, I'm fucking having my name oh, yeah. scribed on that shit. Absolutely, yeah. just fab, only fab. And I'm putting, <laughs> only fab. I'm, yeah, only I, fab. Only fab. Yeah? Is that I'm, your new I'm, channel? I'll, I'll leave it under my pillow in my bed and sleep with it every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Nice. That would. I think that'd be very comfortable. But but we not. It's quite. You wouldn't like but, that. Should I not have said that? Cut that one. Okay. Wait, Why did you, you choose the name P1? Uh, that's what I wanted to know. What, how did you get to P1? It was just a, a strong name that no one had taken, which is insane to me to think that P1, which you resemble as obviously first, and we had the mm -hmm. purple, which is a purple sector, which is going fastest, and it all just kind of ah. made sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Came together oh, quite <laughs> the pennies <laughs> dropped. Oh, shit. I didn't <laughs> realise. <laughs> well. did that's not why, realize. why pit stop is black and white. We're always black and white flags. <laughs> <laughs> F1, yeah. F1 joke. Yeah. Yeah. F1 Here joke. Go. <laughs> yes. It wasn't it. until... Well, well, when we first came up with the name, now I can't hear... Because I remember when we did the Ferrari launch stream and we, we liked the name, we knew it was good and it was obviously always difficult to set up a new name because WTF1 was such a strong name that, that people really like, liked and it, it was good. But I remember we did that first stream and then Charles did his test lap and he came on the radio and went... P1, baby. Uh, and then everyone in the <laughs> Twitch stream was like, oh my God, yeah, Brandy. P1. And you just think, yeah, that name works quite well. It gets in your head of like, mm. soon, I can't hear when they mention P1 now, anything else. Like, same, same with us. 
Good. Like, yeah, we, 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 we watched the first our first ever race after starting pit stop, and it's like, and here comes Charles Leclerc with a pit stop, and we're like, oh. <laughs> I sent you that free, thing free the other day actually, where we were on Radio Northampton, yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, this guy was like, <laughs> yeah. so we've got two lads on here, and we've done this since he's like, two lads from the pit stop to the, and I, I in my head was like, oh my god, they just scored his pit stop. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been jokes. I've actually got your hat over there. They keep, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They keep mixing I think shit that's up. probably why it was in my head because we just had that hat mix up as well yeah. and stuff. And it was like, oh my god, they've just called it pit stop. I don't know how they've managed to send. I don't know how they've done that. For you know, the, yeah, because for it was both of us. So they've sent. They've so Red Bull and New Era have collabed with a hat, cool hat, and um, they sent yours mm-hmm. to our our address, which was fine. Yeah. But they sent Tommy's to, to me, to you, and then you got. Fags. And then I got yours. I could understand if it was like. You two or oh, ours no. two yeah. are different, but it's just a very it's just strange. Someone's done it on purpose, isn't they? Yeah. All right. Yeah, Maybe they knew this collab was they coming. Knew they knew like, this collab yeah. would get a shout and out. Then the way. shout out has happened, hasn't it? So marketing genius. facts. Wow. They've actually done very well there. Smart shit. <laughs> <laughs> Big brain marketing. Lads, listen. All right. I'm most excited about one thing on this pod. Frank. I thought we were going to get naked. <laughs> oh. Uh, a lot of naked things. <laughs> but yeah. Fair enough. No, you boys are going to come set a lap on our leaderboard. Oh, oh no. yeah, we're going to do the leaderboard lap today. Oh no! Oh god! Where do you, are you guys going to sit now? No, I'm not. I sometimes. Well, well oh, James Private Pack. Oh, that that sounds beautiful. beautiful. Always in sync. Well, I mean, uh, to, la- to the absolute when you look point at, <laughs> one of a second. I'm actually I'm lost, lost, but I'm a hurt uh, fan. You're really trying to cover me now. So we'll do two laps, and then we'll put you on that. But I do feel like maybe we should two have a... Two laps, is that it? No, you get three laps right. round. Yeah. What circuit? Austria. Austria oh, and then you get three on, laps. Tell me you're a Formula One fan. I might yeah, be in Sao true. Paulo. Yeah. Do you think you guys can beat Oscar Piastri? No. no. If I don't slot in between Dragovic uh, and Mikey Brown, I'll be upset. Do you actually reckon you can get in there? Yeah. yeah if no, I don't, no, then no, I'll, no, I'll be throwing a simulator out the window. No, no, no driving line. Yeah, no, no assist, bro. What are you saying? Gears. Track limits. He's got like gears as in Austria track limits. That's a problem. Of course we drive with no line on. I just want to know, before we do that, though, how are you feeling, Matt, so far about um, Ferrari this season? Should we get onto the simulator challenge now, then? Or? <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like maybe we should have a little F1 oh, chat for 10 God, minutes. Because yeah, no, we learn yeah. from you guys. Yeah. So you can give us some insight. Learn. Oh, God. So what's oh, going God. wrong with Ferrari? Oh, don't. Uh, who knows? Um, Ferrari. That's what's Ferrari are doing Ferrari. Ferrari things. I mean, it's quite clear that the change at the top between Bonotto and now Vasseur is not... It's not going to fix them overnight. If anything, we've still got all the same problems that were there last year as well, you know, because it's very much a team. It's not Bonotto or Vasseur making every decision when it goes, whether it's in the race or or not in the race. So it's a it's a an inner working thing that's going to take a long time. If who knows ever uh, to 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 make that work. I mean, McLaren have made a, a more of a strategic change within their team mm-hmm. uh, recently where they've now got three people I think in charge of the mm-hmm. whole uh, development of the team so that in that for me is more positive for McLaren because they're actually making str- like structural changes whereas Ferrari have just changed someone at the top and they've lost a, you know, a couple of people mentality, well. I think that just sack oh, the manager, sack the manager yeah. just replace someone at the top who's a bit of a scapegoat rather than it's quite clear there's more problems than just that and also as well Bonotto if you actually look at where he took the team and what he done, he actually done yeah. all right. Yeah, like yeah, he was obviously a mechanic, an engineer from like twenty years at Ferrari, and he built his way up to the top. Yeah, he when he actually got to the top, he took Ferrari to a race winning car and then got the boot because they didn't win the championship. Now, yeah. me in the, the height of my emotions probably wanted that, but now that I've calmed down, you go, well, actually, was changing very Bonotto close to yeah. Really where where the, were the they in the championship when he first became team principal? That is a question. Fourth. Fifth? Goodness me. Yeah, was it 2020 he became team principal, would it have been? Because he had a pretty dreadful year, 2020. I'm trying to think when the Silver Fox was was part of. Yeah, Riva Benny was like 2018-ish. So it would, would have been like 2019, 2020. And then 2020, they were terrible, weren't they? Like absolutely awful. So 19, yeah, they were good, he's weren't got, they? He's got them back to the front. of uh, Like they had a good car, but at the end of the day, he'd doesn't control who puts the wrong tyres on or mm. on Inters when it was dry <laughs> or it? whatever. So It did trigger me, though, when Bonotto very much went with the, the whole, nothing's wrong. Yeah, no, nothing's wrong. Help. Like yeah. you, you would have just Wagging watched, the, finger at you. You would have just watched like the entire yeah. room just be on fire. And be like, 
everything's absolutely fine. Like, don't look at that. No, we should have we should have kept him on hard, hard tires in Hungary, or you know, pitting under, under uh, not pitting under the safety car at Silverstone. There were such bl- like such blatant errors. And they were just, it's just the most frustrating thing as a fan to be like, yeah, but no, we can see that. We can see you made a, <laughs> yeah. a you know, you made a mistake. Just say it, please. Yeah. Um, whereas Vasseur seems like he's just kind of, yeah, we're, we kind of fucked up sort of thing. Fred's which is, chilling. He's such a chill yeah. guy. He doesn't he's really very seem to give a shit about He's very much. chill. Apparently he's really funny. Yeah, I'd love him I've on the board. I've heard that he's great, great laugh. Love him on yeah. the board. And, you know, if he can do similar to the previous Frenchman, which was uh, Jean Todd, then yeah. uh, we'll be flying. So. Do you think um, Benoto could make a return? No. That is no chance. I can't see him coming that back would, after that. That would be a PR disaster class anyway, because Ferrari can't gets back at Bonotto. Like, yeah. Who do you guys think is going to be the next F1 driver on the grid to leave? F1 driver on Lewis. the grid? Like, who do you think will be going? Like, do you think... Because there's contracts expiring, right? Mm. And the seats are so heavily oh, wanted God. now. The Hamilton one's so difficult, because we've just we've just recorded a pod about it, and no one can... It seems like all the fans, everyone's so split on whether... I've never been more 50 50 of, of him retiring at the end of this year or six years' time. It, it just it could be either. It's, yeah. yeah. I just don't know. Um, yeah. Next person to go. Maybe someone ooh. like a Bottas, maybe. I don't yeah, know. maybe. Bottas. He seems to be enjoying himself. Checo? Uh, Checo, I think, probably have a. F- well, he could get ousted out if he. I mean, he's doing well. Logan at the moment. Sergeant goes through to Red Bull. No, I heard well, this on your, no. your pod. That was quite a bold claim. No, bold ridiculous, isn't the it? rest. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> don't be, don't be nice. Yo, you like... can rip him to shreds. <laughs> it was shit. Fat. I was just like, <laughs> Where did of you all get the that people from? for Red Bull, there's this talk when about oh, Hamilton yeah. and uh, this. I was, like, sat, in the dome. Like, <laughs> I was sat here as he was saying it. They're doing the pod just like this. I'm staring at it. I'm thinking, for fuck's sake, he's going to clip this. Put it on TikTok. Yeah, it takes a while. Yeah. But oh, no, but the beeps, the beeps in the helmet, like yeah. that. Yeah, that, that was big. That was big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of TikTok shit. TikTok enjoyed that one, didn't they? We got so much shit for that. I was like, come but on. I would never have known that. Like, no. I, yeah, I had I no idea. Stuff like that. The like, it's, it's not a well-known fact. No. Like, okay, me and Tommy would have known that, but that's because we've watched Formula One since we were three years old, and obviously it's not been in part of Formula One since we've been three. But yeah, unless you properly dive into the nitty gritty of this stuff or listen yeah. to yeah. every word of the commentary. I've you may not have caught it. it. They might have just casually mentioned it in a practice session or mm. once maybe in a qualifying mm. session, but they don't make a huge deal about no, it. So there's so for much people stuff to gatekeep, like yeah. Formula One gatekeepers, honestly, it's they're awful. just yeah. they need to get in the bin. Because everyone's, you know, you guys have started fairly recently, and I mean, we, I probably how how when were you born? What year? 1996. That was the oh, year. I started, that year, Hill that's the, the year I started watching Formula One. So oh, there you Damon go. Hill's championship. So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he won he won at Belgium knowledge. that year. And he, he won in Belgium the year before. Nice. Any more Good Damon knowledge. Hill facts you want? <laughs> Damon Hill follows us on Instagram. Oh okay. hello. But I mean Thank he <laughs> we've watched Formula One for so long and you can quite easily just think that everyone knows everything and I just think that's a really crappy attitude to have and we all, when, we all started somewhere, right? Yeah, and especially when you guys are literally learning whilst you go with this. Like yeah. you yeah. literally you yeah. say we are new. We are enjoying this with you, and come I don't along know why you can hate like hate on people for their enthusiasm of it. Do you know because what's... you know when you you could just be like, oh, well, this sport shit. I yeah. don't care because everyone just hates me because I'm trying to learn it, and no one wants to give me a chance. But that's a shitty attitude. Mm. The thing is, we can't always talk. About, we can't always say like we're new. We're new. But like, we did in the very beginning, and so our f- the people who listen to us since the beginning know that we're new fans but we still constantly get new people come and if you're a random bloke who likes f1 and you stumble across our video with mikey for instance on youtube you wouldn't know that we're probably new fans no that's so then you yeah, would go yeah. write a comment like these guys don't know shit and it takes for our older fans to, to to pipe up in the comments and be like these guys are brand new but at the same time we don't care one bit like we you shouldn't, shouldn't care though, videos, because i love it yeah, yeah. yeah. and also yeah. like all these shit. yeah <laughs> yeah i'm real you shouldn't because all these new fans you you can ask such unique questions and like i've listened to your pod and there's so many things that i've picked up on of because we like to accommodate new fans as well and we don't want to like alienate anyone and listening to your pod and some of the things you say it's like oh yeah i never would have even thought that that's because i've been watching f1 for ages yeah. 
it yeah. just comes second nature but I'm trying to you, say hear, you, copy our you hear all this stuff. basically they, they listen to what <laughs> we say and they talk and about go, it uh, properly yeah. on yeah. Like, I want that 20% split <laughs> <laughs> of the Twitch stream yeah. <laughs> well no boys you're both doing incredible um, thank you thank you for coming on we'll do the sim lap and then we'll sit back down and tell you it but congratulations because it's thank a you. massive move and you have done very very well I appreciate that it's going to be you, it's going to be an exciting year can't wait to see what you do next yeah Hopefully see you at the live show. I want to get you boys on the road a little bit. I know you've done races yeah, and stuff, I wanna, but I want to be able to go somewhere cool together. To I want to be able to race with you guys. Silverstone, yeah. most likely. Yeah. I'd like to go outside, yeah, at some point. That'd be <laughs> great. Yeah, Sil <laughs> Silverstone, 100% we're going to be there. Um, and we'll f well, anything else that we manage to sort, we'll, we'll try. Um, but it's up to us now. We're the ones that got to go and fetch these opportunities. So, it's nice, though. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I want to get lit up with you boys. That's basically it, really. That's, we get lit all the time. Yeah, you're lit right now, aren't you? I'm pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> And up first we have Tommy Bellingham, formerly WTF1, now P1, setting his pit stop fastest lap. We're going round Austria right now. He's struggling a little bit with the medium traction, but however, he is putting a decent lap. Hello. Automatic gears. Not sure how I feel about that one, Tommy. Not sure about that either, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I Martin and you're Crofty? Are you? this <laughs> Absolutely. This is the 13th time he's driven this track this year. Oh, goodness me. He's soaring at the steering wheel here. You would think that was a plank of wood, not a Formula One car. <laughs> Come on, Tommy. Dig deep here, sir. You cannot... If you go below Jake Boys with a 108.3, oh, you have to leave. <laughs> it is P1 with Matt and Matt only. He may have P1 in his name, but can he get P1 on the pit stop fastest lap leaderboard? Find out today on Pit Stop. It's Matty G. Riding that yellow curb, someone has been watching Nico Rosberg's tutorial on how to do Austria. Not just me. Yeah, you've really been watching it. <laughs> he managed to piss off but can he piss off Oscar Piastri today by beating him on the pit stop fastest lap leaderboard <laughs> he's f but can he be friends with Oscar Piastri what does that even mean Matty G and Tommy B yes. where do you think you may have come I'm terrible at the F1 game, so I'm hoping... You've got to have beaten Jake. Yeah, I'm hoping I've, be <laughs> I'm hoping I've beaten, beaten Jake. Jake, basically. Come on, what are you doing that, bro? <laughs> How many laps did you do for that? There's no Only way one. you had three. One. one! One lap and banged out an 8-3. 51. We filmed them just literally 10 minutes before Oscar got here. We only had that one go, so we had a time on the board. That's why ours are so we bad. I'm putting, in one, I'm putting in 104s at the minute. Yeah, are you? Yeah. Yeah, of course you are. Anyway, yeah. Tommy, you were first. How did you how did you get on with it? I'd be happy in the 107s if I'm honest. You would be happy. Thank fuck for that then because you, my friend, did the pit stop fastest lap in a 107.227. Oh, wow. which means you're faster oh, than Mikey Brown. There he is. Woo! Let's go. I'm happy with that. That's a great time. That is a very decent decent time. We're going to put you there. <laughs> no oh, spoilers. Really? I wonder <laughs> where I'm going. Because <laughs> Matty G, you did the pit stop fastest lap in a one minute 06.212. Monstrous lap. So you are right, right up there. Oh, oh, nice. Sniffing around Felipe Dragovic. You're two tenths. That's not a sentence I thought I'd hear oh, today. Oh, pretty much. Well, <laughs> dreams do come true, <laughs> my friend. Boys, there you have it. You've done it. You've made it. I've, we've made it. That's I it. can tell you're annoyed at that because I think you, you've got yeah, more yeah, time yeah. on the table. You there, could there's be, part of I me that's like, oh, could... well, fourth. And other parts of me going, I could have beaten Oscar Piastri. Yeah. But it's fine. I'm over it. That's just the competitive <laughs> nature of me. It's a bit ruthless that we only give you three three it's time horrific. laps. I will be going back on yeah. the sim after this is finished. For a start, lads, I want to say thanks so much for, thanks for, yeah, having thanks us. for coming. Thanks for coming. Thank appreciate you. it. It's been Cheers. good to see you. And thanks yeah. for just for, for uh, being so nice to us boys Yeah, being great mates. We didn't know you boys probably a couple of months ago, but we have. We speak a lot now and it's been great. Like It's great for us to know. Have a we have a RuneScape group chat, even though we don't play RuneScape anymore. No. We call it RuneScape yeah, right. chat. I wish we still really? played. Yeah, so do I. I wish I had enough time. We are going to go to RuneFest, though. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. That would be incredible. Anyone listening works <laughs> at RuneFest or can sort out some VIP passes. I'll be whipping out my Armadillo God Sword, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm if gonna... you're wondering why we want to go VIP, it's because this is one of the highest rated RuneScape players in the whole world. You want to tell them about that? 
Well, you, Matt, Matt EG knows. Oh. I, think, I think everyone fucking knows. Oh, so I was talking about. to the camera, <laughs> to the people at home. Look, I'm an absolute G when it comes to the RuneScope, right? <laughs> big, big deal. You wouldn't think that a man like yourself has a skill level of, as high as... Do you, what do you as mean high as you, Just you're a sexy man, aren't you? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, you just wouldn't think you've put in thousands and thousands of hours. He's got but a 15-year ripping those camp. trousers off as soon as, we get, <laughs> as soon as you get out of this no, pod. let me go on the sim first. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening to the Pit Stop Podcast. Please rate it five stars. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys on Thursday. See you later. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.